Hey there, my name is Father Steve Macias, and welcome to the sacristy at St. Paul's. And today I want to show you something I'm preparing for. I'm going to be doing a, a visitation of the sick with uh, the anointing of the sick. And part of that visitation is going to be celebrating communion. Now there's a couple of ways to do, about, do, a, to do a visitation of the sick with communion. One is to take the elements that were consecrated on Sunday and place them inside a little ciborium like this, often called the pyx, and put that in there, put the, the bread that was consecrated in, put it inside of a case, reverently take it to the sick and say a, a liturgy with them with what we call reserved elements. Now that can be helpful when time is of the essence or you don't have a lot of staff to do this or if you're depending on a deacon to do it who can't celebrate the communion there. But today uh, we'll be doing celebration along with the unction and sometimes that presents difficulties because you obviously can't bring the entire altar or even all of the altar wear to the people who you're visiting. And so here at St. Paul's, not only do we have a regular altar set, we have a itty bitty altar set for traveling. And I'm gonna get this one prepared. It has its own tiny little altar linens that work with us here. A tiny chalice. Now for comparison, Here's the chalice that we usually use on Sunday, and then here's the little travel one. And then we have a little travel cruet. This is just for wine, and it has a little glass stopper there. Uh, another pix here for putting the unconsecrated wafers in for traveling. We have, of course, uh, a patten, just like that. For comparison, typically the patten used on a Sunday, a little bit bigger. Now we have the patten here, our linens, all that fun stuff, but this also has a unique instrument. This is the spoon for when you're delivering communion to those who may not uh, be mobile and you'd have to feed it to them directly to the mouth. Something more common you see in the Eastern Church, but uh, a real option necessary in some cases when visiting the sick. So the preparing of this to go is much like preparing any Sunday. You fill the wine in the cruet, you make sure all your stuff is ready here, make sure you have some wafers here. Now here at St. Paul's, we use this fancy Costco port because it's my favorite based on taste. And in our liturgy, the priest has to drink the most of it since we do intinction for everybody else. So I should like it. And then altar bread is just purchased uh, like this through Kavanaugh. And these are each about an inch and an eighth in space. And so they fit perfectly right inside these travel ones as well. Now for the actual, for the actual visit, of course, for a liturgy we celebrate from the 28, uh, which is the standard American Book of Common Prayer. But we also have, in the Reformed Episcopal Church, a visitation handbook. And this was produced actually this year. And it has a, a set of prayers that you can go through with somebody who is sick and you're doing a, a visitation with. Uh, and this is everything from reconciliation, which you might understand as like penance or confession. Uh, but it also has the, the prayers for the Office of Unction. And that is what we'll be doing this evening too. We'll take uh, oil that has been blessed and following the communion, there is a blessing of the individual with holy oils for healing. In the case today that we're gonna be doing, the woman has been diagnosed with late stage cancer and it's likely that her time is very limited. And so unction is uh, God's blessing or asking God for healing, calling upon the Holy Spirit just as we read in the scriptures for the elders to lay hands on her and anoint her with oil. And so, although she's not able to come to the church, this is a way for the church to come to her and to bring the ancient and historic rites of the Christian church and the Catholic faith through her, through the book of prayer and the physical elements. 
Vlastne 